Welcome to our first lecture for ED603, Unit 1. Um, I'll do a brief recording each week to highlight some of the main points in the reading, but I'm not going to read the outline of the text for you. Um, this um, brief outline here hits on some points that aren't necessarily in the Mischel text, but are interesting. Please review it and then review the outline of the Mischel chapter and also the chapter summaries before you do the readings. That will help focus your attention to the important points. A major topic in the readings this unit are how to define personality, and obviously there are some um, debates about what personality means and what the important components of it are. Um, there are some definitions here, and our Michel text goes into detail about um, various definitions as well. So make sure you read those and think about what you thought personality meant before you did the readings and what you think it means afterwards. There are many approaches to understanding the construct of personality. Um, it'll be interesting as you read to think about what your approach has been. Um, a lot of us have a casual approach to um, talking about and applying the construct to people. Um, but our book will also review ways to be more scientific about defining and understanding what really underlies personality and how we can impact it as teachers or therapists and help people be healthy. This slide reviews a few dimensions of personality and is based on a prior textbook we used um, in the course. Um, our, our textbook will take the focus of looking at levels of personality or kind of factors underlying the entire construct. But read these definitions and keep them in mind as you um, go through the course. Um, there are different ways to look at personality and it's important to look at it from a variety of perspectives because all of them have pieces of the truth in them. You'll see in our readings for this unit and as we talk about different theories that have developed over different time periods that the evolution of the field is quite interesting and there's been a lot of disparity in ideas about what personality means and how it develops. So just keep that in mind and um, you may learn, I hope, in the readings some about the history of personality that um, sheds light on current ideas because obviously they've come from challenges and testing of past theories. A major focus of our course, in addition to personality, is self-esteem, and what I hope to do is um, tie that topic into each of our units and have you think about how you as a teacher or educator can help your students and people in your life um, have a realistic, healthy self-esteem. Um, this is another construct, like personality, that has had a lot of debate and different approaches and theories about it um, implemented over time. Um, what I would like you to do is just think about self-esteem in terms of what it is and how you can help students develop it um, so that they can function to the best of their ability um, in society. Um, so here are some definitions of self-esteem and there is a PDF reading in our unit from a Laura Burke development textbook that describes um, the construct of personal, I'm, I'm sorry, of self-esteem and how um, it has a hierarchical nature and there are different dimensions to it as well as personality. This slide lists uh, the hierarchical structure or dimensions of self-esteem to consider. Um, and um, it's interesting to uh, read the research that has developed the ideas that there are these various types or subtypes of, of self-esteem. And I will try to keep these lectures brief because we have a lot of material to cover in a short time. Um, but this slide lists some of the main things I hope you'll learn from this course. Um, I won't read it to you. You can read it. But as you do, um, if you have any questions throughout the course about how these objectives are being met or how you could apply the information better to them, please let me know. Um, as you can see from this list, there's a lot we can learn and hopefully the course will help you um, professionally and personally and give you insight into the personality and self-esteem development of your students and how you can help that process. Thanks so much for listening. Um, please look at the other lecture that reviews the chapter outline and have a great week.